The fighting has been over for almost two weeks now in Helmand province, southern Afghanistan. A five-year campaign led by NATO forces amid a 20-year war failed to prevent this from happening. As the Taliban take over public spaces all over the country, their critics are living in hiding, fearful for their lives. France 24's observers interviewed rights activists in undisclosed locations. One activist in western Afghanistan says the Taliban have been entering mosques, asking for the whereabouts of people like herself. I knew that come sooner or later. Some of my neighbors who I kept contact with told me Taliban fighters were going to the neighborhood mosque and asking people if they are aware of activists, journalists, or anyone else that has worked with foreigners. In the north of the country, one activist told our team that some police officers have been helping the insurgents flush out their enemies. They're using the Afghan police's resources and records to get details about activists and journalists where they live, where they used to work, and who they worked with. We can't see any other option but to find a way to leave the country. If I stay, I'll risk not only my life, but the safety of my family. And in the east, one activist fears that her disability will make her recognizable in the streets. It's been more than a week that I'm hiding here. I'm out of food and money, and I'm just waiting here to die. Though Taliban officials insist they won't seek reprisals, many fear state-sponsored repression will begin as soon as foreign military leave. The insurgents have warned that they will not extend the August 31st deadline for that pullout.